crazy IG CSC. Hello everyone, welcome back to crazy IG CSC. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel and have a look at the videos in this. This channel is based on content on IG CSC business, economics, accounting, maths, English as second language, biology, and physics. So there are seven subjects at one place. Here is IGCSE at your fingertips. Now let's have a look at the parts of a circle. So first let's look at circumference. So circumference as you can see is the outer part of the circle which means the boundary of the circle. And then comes the radius. Now radius is when from the middle point of the radius which means over here that point there will be a line drawn till the circumference of the circle. Sector is that when two radiuses are joined it forms a sector. So it just looks like a pizza slice. Now segment. Segment is when first we have to look at a chord to explain segment. So chord is any line which is uh, from one point of the circumference to the other point of the circumference which is not in the middle so it will not be in the middle so if this is the middle it will not be here it will be somewhere far away from the middle so here it is over here that I the chord is drawn now the difference between a chord and diameter is diameter is in the middle over here and then chord is somewhere away from the middle center point then comes tangent so tangent is uh, first of all there are only two tangents of a circle now let's see what a tangent is so tangent is when a line is only touching the circumference of the circle this means uh, now let me explain why there are only two tangents in a circle because see if you see this line it's touching the circumference of the circle and then the second line will again go near the circumference but now you can't bring the uh, the tangent line over here because that it will go into the circle but we don't want that to happen and that's why the tangent is only two so two which means one touching over here at the left side of the circumference and one over here i hope these concepts are clear and only if this concept is clear, you will be able to understand the circle theorems. So now let's have a look at each rule. So the first rule is that the angle from the same arc at circumference are equal. Now what does this mean? Now first, you, if you remember what an arc is, well, oh, uh, arc has not been explained. So arc is the curve on the circumference of the circle so this is an arc so the first rule is the angle from the same arc at the circumference are equal now if you take this arc so the angle should be the uh, the angle from the same arc should touch the circumference which will mean like from this point from this point of the arc we go up here so that is touching one point of the circumference so that's one point then it comes back here and it again goes back here so here again the second circumference point is touched and then it comes back which means that the angles are uh, being touched at the circumference from the same arc so the same arc is used and that means that angle will be equal so if uh, for example this one is 40 degrees then this will be 40 degrees as well now second rule is the angle between the radius and tangent is 90 degrees this means that first of all the tangent is uh, this part uh, there are two tangents in a circle so that is one and that's the second one so the and this is the radius so this is the radius now they're saying that the angle between the radius 
and the tangent is 90 degrees that means they're talking about this angle so this angle if you see it is 90 degrees now the third rule is the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees now here if you see this is a semicircle which is showing it's a semicircle and in that there is a triangle now semicircle will always have a 90 degree so this part will be the 90 degree so this is called the 90 degree the fourth rule is that the angle at the center is always twice the angle at the circumference now this means if you see this angle over here and also remember this will not apply for the angle inside the triangle or the shape it will only apply for the angle outside which means the reflex part of the angle which will mean this part so this part the middle of the uh, and the middle part which is having the angle will always be double the angle at the circumference now this is the angle at the circumference so what will be done here is the center is 120 degrees and if you have to find the angle at the circumference here you will just have to halve it which means 120 divided by 2 which will be 60 and if they're telling you to find the angle in the center so this is x and this is y so y is equal to 60 now they have not given you the value of x and they have told you y is 60 and you have to find x so you will just have to double that so 60 into 2 which will be 120 now the fifth rule is that angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees so that will mean that here there will be a value here so there will be four angles and now each four angle will add up to 360 degrees and quadrilateral is a shape which has four sides so this is a quadrilateral and each angle of it will add up to 360 degrees the sixth rule is that cyclic quadrilateral has the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral will add up to 180 degrees cyclic quadrilateral firstly means it's a quadrilateral itself but it is the one which uh, which the points the corners of the quadrilateral will touch the circumference of the circle so here if you see it is touching the circumference of the circle in the other uh, quadrilaterals you can see that there is a circle but the quadrilateral might not necessarily have to reach the circle but cyclic quadrilateral the circle the quadrilaterals corners will be touching the circumference of the circle the seventh rule is that two angles in the isosceles triangle are equal now this firstly an isosceles triangle is the one which has two sides equal so these two sides are equal and uh, these two sides are equal so now we need to know that each side of that like these two sides are always equal like for example if this is 40 degrees then even this will be 40 degrees so now we're done with the circle theorems now our next video will be based on solving of the past papers for the topic circle theorems so stay tuned for my more upcoming videos also, I was checking my YouTube analytics and I found out that the watch time from subscribers is uh, more from the viewers who have not subscribed. So the viewers who have not subscribed watch my content more, which is 73%. And the people who have subscribed to my channel watch very less. So I would like to request all those who are watching my channel right now and have not subscribed, please do subscribe as this will benefit you as well as me. Please subscribe to Crazy IGCSE. Please like.